Uh, many times I wish that there was some sort of trick to it, you know, where, but I think that might be closer to magic, where you'd be able to kind of put this in the pot and this and that and then stir it around for three hours and then out comes a song, you know. Um, I know that pain is a very fertile field, but uh, I don't think pain is really uh, something that people like to listen to. <laughs> as far as songwriting, you, you know, um, but I think that I've been trying to think about this lately because it, it's fascinating to me that I can listen to a Bob Dylan song and, and, and hear such truth or um, certain things that I, I listen to in Radiohead or Keith Green or whoever and, and you think, wow, if God can talk through, I think it was Balaam's donkey, then he might be able to talk through me, you know? And why wouldn't he be able to talk through Dylan if he can talk through a donkey, you know? Um, and so the idea that I, I look back to the Old Testament and prophets and I don't think that it's the exact same thing, but I think that God can use art as a medium for his truth to come through, you know? And um, to challenge the, that current society. Um, and I hope that I could be a voice like that, you know, um, of more, more than just my own personal problems and my own, the way I see the world, but to be, um, uh, you know, a voice of something bigger than just myself. You know, so, but at the same time, a lot of the songs are just straight from the three o'clock in the morning, why am I here on the planet type of uh, beginning. You know, I think that's, that's why you, you first start writing a song because it, you like the way the guitar sounds, and then you realize it's a vehicle to get to talk about anything, you know. So that probably doesn't answer any of your questions, but... Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.